Okay. <clears throat> Basically, I, I was inspired by the idea when the Type of Three Award at the Type of Three Conference in The Hague happened two weeks ago. And there was, at the Type of Three Award, um, you could submit websites um, for, for the award and then the, the list of nominees was distributed and there were almost 200 websites that uh, I found very inspiring to, to look through them. I mean, there, there are some common design trends. So basically the page layout of many of the pages were quite similar because that's the way you are doing websites right now. Um, but I found it very amazing and inspiring to see what happens in the type of three ecosystem and how many different companies from many different countries are using uh, type of three for their new projects. One of the requirements was that um, the website that you submit to the awards um, had to be uh, made in 2019 or 2018. So they were quite uh, new sites. And just by looking through those nominees, I thought, well, it would be just nice if people could show what they are doing uh, with Type of 3 and name their clients. And uh, so I just want to, to show two of our projects. Um, one is the Diocese of Rotenburg, Stuttgart. That's basically the Catholic Church in southwestern Germany. They had uh, a type of three website for many many years um, first type of three four five then six two and um, now we uh, made a new design for for their website um, <clears throat> and well basically this is just a standard website um, we have here some news and um, basically what what they wanted to to do is to have a more modern magazine style website um, and so the person who is responsible for most of the content uh, he was coming from a newspaper so uh, many of the things were inspired by how newspapers um, operate so we have here so, uh, some news sections um, and then we have <coughs> some news over here um, where they where you can actually filter the news you can say well okay in the first section this is uh, these news are for all the visitors of the website in the lower section you can filter that you for example say okay i want to see what's happening in my church community around the town where i live and for example when i just enter <coughs> a town over here and then you, I have entered a town which um, happens to, there are many different towns with that same name. And uh, you can see here by uh, zip code, those towns are listed over here. And let's select the town where I'm living. And then I can say, okay, I want to see only um, news that are 25 kilometers around my hometown. And so I made the selection and the selection is stored in a cookie. And so the next time, the person visits the website he will get the same selection so he's getting the news from the whole area and from his local area and so basically what the editors for the news records they have to do is specify the town where a news um, is taking place and uh, one day then they have some some social wall in here this is just um, from the service walls io um, it all the feeds from uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, they are uh, put in here. Then uh, there are a lot of multimedia stuff uh, over here, audio files, video files, and um, um, image uh, libraries. And then they have something which they call a dossier. This is basically if you have, you have several articles with one topic. And uh, so this is also what's basically um, taken over from um, newspaper web uh, websites so that you just have multiple um, stories 
that belong to one um, topic area. Uh, and one thing that, that we did over here is um, there's a search function and um, this is done with uh, solar. Uh, yeah, with uh, solar. And the special thing what, what we did over here is that we are including search results from many other websites uh, from the Catholic Church. Uh, so we, we have one system where they have uh, built, and that's a separate type of three installation, where they have many microsites and basically websites for each of their local churches. And then in this main site, they can now, in the search results, they can include uh, search results from all the other pages. So, and this is then listed over here. So, um, and this is just the, the standard uh, solar search. So this is the one project we did. Um, and another project is uh, the Stuttgart airport. And uh, this is not the website of the airport itself. It's uh, the website of uh, where they market all their advertising space. So all the advertising opportunities that are offered in, in, the, in the Stuttgart airport are listed on this website. And then you can um, book one of those um, advertising opportunities. And <clears throat> they have been moving away from another content management system to TYPO3. And sometime in the future, there might be additional websites that, that will also be converted over to TYPO3. And then <clears throat> you can have, uh, for example, indoor advertising. Um, you can see what, what's all available, and then you just select one of those categories. And you get a listing of all those opportunities. You can filter by terminal uh, or uh, business travelers, leisure travelers, um, departure, arrival, and so on. And you can also filter by um, the time where you want to, to display your advertising. Now, if you go into one of these, um, as you can see over here, you get some brief information. You get a picture where this advertising is located. You get some brief information. And also right here, it tells you when this advertising space will become available. And uh, so this is basically all the data is being generated live. Then you can uh, call up the details of the page and then you see a larger picture over here. Then you have over here, um, you have a map where this advertising media is located in the airport. And um, of course, I think you can get a larger version of this. And in the type of three backend, the editors, they have a map of the airport and they can put those markers, they can position the markers um, on, on the map and make a, um, a cut out of the map and they can put those markers in different colors and multiple markers. They can just put them, them in uh, on here. So the editors can just change the location of, of these advertising uh, media. And then you can say, okay, I want to book this and I want to book this for uh, three months, for example. And then you can just uh, do an online check whether this uh, media is available and how much the price um, of it will be. And then there's another little feature that we have built into. Uh, you can download a PDF file and a PDF file is also being generated by uh, Typo3. And in this PDF file, you have all that information as a printout. So you have the image, you have the map and uh, all this information. And then sometimes it, one of those little tricky things, for example, was for this PDF file, uh, we just had the image. And then they wanted to have, their, their, for each of their areas of advertising, indoor, outdoor, and so on, they have different color scheme. And uh, for example, they have this ma magenta color for um, indoor, and then they wanted to have here a magenta color bar imposed on the image. It's not on the image itself. So while rendering the PDF, we put the, the color bar on, on there. And so that was, was a little bit tricky. And um, 
where we had to try it out to, to position this exactly because the size of the images differ and they wanted to have a little bit uh, margin over here and over here and, and so on. So th this was, this project was I think completed in July and the other one from the uh, Catholic Church was done in, it went live at the end of August I think. Okay, so these are just two little projects that, that we have done. Um, beside the hosting. Okay, you want to show something? Yeah, yeah. hi, I'm Lars, um, and I want to show you another type of free project um, from Shafrat Media, this uh, agency. Um, the Erztekammer Nordrhein is uh, one of our customers since yeah, many years, I think since 20 years. And um, before this year, they had an own uh, content management system, which was uh, yeah, a custom system and nothing standard. And um, in the progress of the relaunch, um, we migrated all the things to type of free. Um, and we had some yeah, challenges, um, which is first a huge amount of content. So um, the Erzakammer Nordrhein um, has to publish some information, some legal things, and this is a huge amount. And um, there are some custom features, like um, there is a, yeah, a punkte konto, a point score for medical doctors. So medical doctors in Germany, they have to um, prove that they do some um, trainings over the year. And for that, they have to um, get points, a number of points. I think it's, it's 30 or something like that in a year. And um, within this website, um, they are able to do those things online. So they are able to do trainings and um, they have to make a test at the end. And if the test um, is okay and um, they are through it, um, those points will be sent to the uh, Bundesärztekammer, so it's the central organization which approves those points. And this is one of the things um, we made here with an um, own extension for type of free. Um, I cannot show it to you because I'm not a medical doctor <laughs> and I, uh, I'm not able to log in here. Um, yeah, then we uh, integrated some things to um, to make the content available for persons who have some issues uh, with reading text. So you can um, make it uh, over voice here like that. And yeah, anything else, Andre? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we got some um, the medical doctors lists. Where are they? Let's see. Um, where all medical doctors are mentioned uh, inside North Rhine-Westphalia. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I don't know where they're placed, sorry. Ah, here. It's the medical search. Ah, no, it's the... What? Hmm. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's skip that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, I think that <laughs> that's the main thing of this project here. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Good. Anyone else? It's it's also an old uh, customer like uh, like Jochen speaking from it. It's also from the church. Uh, and I have this customer since a long time, and uh, I think it's a fast update. And again, type of three. <laughs> and uh, yeah, what is to say about the site? It has a, has a lot of um, Dienste and Einrichtungen, um, and all the people there have the possibility to um, to. Uh, uh, to make their part on their own, and I think the, the, the good thing is that you can uh, this feature, and it's always if you have a responsive site uh, that you have the problem to find uh, the important information, and if you have the possibility to to do them in some special part, um, in some uh, special uh, column in your site, 
uh, you can do it better, but it's you you have to. <coughs> it depends on the planning of the site. Perhaps this is a special thing. Yeah. There are some Gemeinden. Um, well, it's type of three. <laughs> hey, next one. <laughs> no, it depends. It depends. They have all, the, all freedom to, to make the logos. <laughs> um, we have not, not done this project. It was by another agency, I think, in Stuttgart. So we, we just did some editor training um, for this customer, so therefore I, I know about this. Um, and this is um, of the German Automobile Club. Um, <coughs> so this is where they have a lot of their, their sports and, and um, racing sports. And um, it's also a website that went live, I think, this summer. And um, well, you have all these these different events that they have for for racing and so on. Um, uh, it's an external web. No, that's not an external website. Um, so. They have th some special content elements in there that have been designed uh, for, for their use so that the different events and so that they have, they all have a similar look and, and uh, look and feel. And um, there's for all the regional clubs of the um, ADAC in uh, Hessen and Thüringen, um, they have all the information for their members and uh, things like that. So this is another quite new site made with Type 3. Coders Care. Yeah, Coders Care is... <laughs> <laughs> it's done with WordPress, exactly. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if it works. Okay. Um, maybe I start. Um, I will show you two of them. Actually, they, uh, some of you could have seen them because they were both nominated for the type of, for a Type of Three award. One in the last year and uh, the other one this year. Um, I just have to um, check some real plots. Yep. Um, this one was a pro bono project we, uh, we nom uh, which was nominated last year, which is actually, um, we just tried to help out there because I'm actually a member of the nonprofit organization who's uh, running the, this um, playground, which is in my hometown, and they uh, collected about 250,000 euros a few years ago to just rebuild that place and to make it usable for the children again. And now it's a kind of yeah, tourist magnet because people are coming from all over uh, Lower Saxony and uh, even from other uh, cities just to be there and to um, have some fun there with their children. And the major feature uh, they need to um, to uh, even generate more money um, uh, is um, something that you can see on the map. Um, as you can see, there is um, a Grillhütte. And this is uh, constantly booked all over the year by people who are actually doing their birthday parties there or just um, uh, coming there uh, uh, with people from other uh, cities and uh, tr uh, trying to, to have some f uh, fun there in, in a completely unusual um, party location. And so they have a calendar for that, which is then, um, just have to, how do you scroll with that? Because I'm not used to the Mac. <laughs> Two? Two fingers. Two fingers. 
that's one. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Just, just go back. Uh, and yeah, okay. So we just have uh, a calendar there where you can actually see which uh, which is uh, of the of the date is booked or not, and you can then connect uh, to them and say, okay, I want to book one. Currently in November, there should not be that much uh, available, uh, but maybe in uh, in uh, some other. Region. So that's the basic feature of that because the rest is just a basic website we just built from uh, from scratch within uh, one or two days to help them out because the major problem they had is they used a completely different. Um, version uh, of, of a CMS before, which was uh, broken due to PHP being outdated and it wasn't running anymore. So we had to, to save that system uh, to one of our local servers and then uh, just get the data and put it into, for example, here the, the news and blog um, thingy because they were, they were quite active producing content uh, in a kind of um, Tagebuch, what's it? What's that in a kind of diary where you can actually follow the, uh, the process of the development and uh, we had some, some flooding problems because there was water which was actually destroying um, parts of the playground and they were just uh, documenting uh, the progress there and we wanted to, to save that uh, from um, being lost just because uh, the system was broken. So we just stepped in there. This was done in, uh, within just a few days and then now uh, they are quite happily running it and we will implement new features maybe next year when they want to have a booking system that you can actually book that with PayPal and stuff like that. So that's the one thing. Uh, now to something completely different. This is quite new. And actually this was the full relaunch uh, of the uh, Technical University of Klaustal. You will remember that because you were actually in the talk of uh, those guys who <laughs> into the presentation um, uh, in, um, in The Hague. Um, the major feature of this one is, uh, I, I cannot show you because I cannot go to the back end from here because we have to do it with a VPN. Um, the major feature is that we actually uh, put all the about 120 different instances of Type of 3 they were running before because they were used to run Type of 3 since 2005. And they had a problem each and every uh, different um, faculty and all the different uh, areas they have in the university, each of them wanted to have their own website. And they had, uh, partly they had their own admins, they, uh, some of them even their own uh, templates and different type of three versions and it was a complete nightmare to manage that. So what we did is um, actually we stepped in when they said we want to upgrade that to, new, to a new type of three version. Uh, actually, they wanted to just go to uh, CMS 8 because they were on 7, sometimes uh, even on, uh, on 6. And they still wanted to keep all the different uh, instances. And then we stepped in and said, okay, let's do it completely different and make a one instance solution where you have a huge tree, where you have different uh, domains and you can even share content between those domains. And while we are already on it, to put that into one instance, uh, we can even go for uh, CMS 9. So that's what we did um, in about two months or so. So we just uh, had the design already done because they bought a package which was done by Sven uh, Wappler as, as the base uh, template, which was based on Flux Fluid content. So what we did is we kept the design they already um, did on, uh, based on the package, but we removed Flux and Fluid content and replace it with grid elements and some, uh, some other basic core features so that uh, we don't run into performance problems when we have a page tree with a few thousand pages later on. So currently they are just moving all the different um, sites they have into the, uh, this new system. I think 20 are already ported into that and the rest will follow step by step. And then we have one huge instance um, with um, less admins and less editors and more people who are actually able to write good content uh, from, the, from the press department will take care of these pages. So basically that's it. Okay, I can show you a little a small other project uh, where sometimes Sometimes you find out you need to redo some feature in a website just because Google is changing some services. And I um, want to show you a small example from that. This is um, a German manufacturer uh, of crane systems and they do big cranes all over the world. 
and on their website, which has a number of languages, and uh, then they have here a contact page where you can search for um, a local partner who can give you the, the services. And uh, they have a world map over here, and uh, we have programmed something f for them using uh, a service from Google where you can get the boundaries of each country uh, in the world. And uh, then, for example, let's go, let's try Egypt. You can uh, click on here, and then uh, you get a larger version of the map. And um, <coughs> then those um, companies and, and partners um, are actually then uh, listed and depending on whether it's a qualified partner or a service partner or whatsoever, they are in, in different uh, categories. And the data we got, uh, it was using Google Fusion Tables, I think was the name of that. And then Google announced, so we had programmed this, I think last year, and using Google Fusion Tables, and then Google announced that they will discontinue this service by the end of November 2019. So um, we had to redo this completely, and um, we were able to extract the data from Google with all those country boundaries, and then we just made a different map system that is implementing this. So this was just something where you ne always need to look when you have when you're using some external service like Google Maps. And last year they changed that you need to, to give your uh, payment data, uh, otherwise the, the maps wouldn't uh, be displayed anymore. And so this is one of the things where you also have to tell your customers that when you do a web project, it's not a one-time project. It needs some ongoing maintenance because some things can change and you have to adopt. And so uh, a customer should always be prepared to make some smaller investments uh, continually, continuously in, in his website. And um, <clears throat> one of the things um, they have here, like you can see all the different pro uh, products that they have. And uh, you see a lot of technical data for each um, product and you can download the data sheets and brochures and those, for example, over here, um, the brochures are available in different languages. So you have one brochure in German, one in English, one in Russian. But then some brochures, they have German and English in one version and French and Portuguese in another version. And so this is where we had to, to uh, put some tricks to the language handling in Typo 3 to display all the right brochures uh, in, in the right place. Um, so this is one site that they are using extensively, extensively for, for their products. They also have another site um, which is basically a, um, a marketing portal. And unfortunately, I'm cannot show you da, 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 da. MP plus. and um, basically what what they put in here is that they um, have all their marketing materials for their salespeople worldwide uh, so you have references, you have price lists and, and whatsoever, all is that in, in one type of three system. So you log in here and then all the salespeople worldwide have access to all the data and they can enter their own reference projects and you can see, okay, um, which crane was used in which system and, and so on. So that's also a very extensive system um, that actually has had been based on the commerce extension. And um, well, for this customer, we have even updated the commerce extension now for Type 3 version 9. So um, because the customer is going to use that and on and on uh, in, in, in the coming years, and they still needed that. So we needed to update this quite old extension. But uh, Marketing Factory had already done some work for Type 3 version 8. so. Um, we did then 
the rest for, for this extension. But you can see you can use Typer 3 for small projects like a playground in Lower Saxony and you can use it for very large projects like a multinational company that, that is servicing and selling their products worldwide. Um, so it's, it's basically, and, and this is what, what I like very much, um, the, the slogan um, enterprise CMS any size. So you can do small projects, medium projects, large projects, and Type 3 is uh, suited for every of those. Thank you.